how to make and sell lotion templates for beginners step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can get started with building notion templates for beginners and how you can start selling them on etsy or any other platform now as you guys can see notion templates actually have a pretty high demand if you look at etsy there are so many people with such great sales on these templates and these templates are not even that difficult to create most of them you can create and you guys can see choosing like a particular aesthetic is going to be a great way for you to build your templates and you have you know a very basic template this one is not even you know categorizing weeks or anything like that you can just go on ahead and get started with building step by step so we're going to build a simple template so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a cover and then i'm going to I actually really like this cover so i'm going to keep this cover and i'm going to add um weekly planner so i'm just going to build a very simple weekly planner step by step so you guys can follow along so the first thing you're going to do is once you create your new page what you're going to do is you're going to click on slash and then once you click on slash you're going to search for columns now once you search for columns you have different block options so there are seven days a week i like to segregate them by four and three so monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and then friday saturday and sunday so what i like to do is i like to add four columns over here then i just write monday go into the second section write tuesday go into the third section write wednesday go into the fourth one write thursday and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to format these a little now to be able to you know make these look very appealing or you know pleasing i like to make sure that all of these have you know a little bit of an extra space so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hover my mouse over here i'm just going to move the sections apart a bit so there's a bit more of a writing space where people can actually write like this and i'm just going to take this over here separate them a little and i'm just going to select this over here push this a little closer because these two look a bit too far apart for my personal liking but once i am all right with you know the spacing of my planner elements then i like to make sure to add a certain color so i'm going to add a to-do list under monday now if you do this this is not what you're meant to do what i just did so i'm just going to undo this and then below within our column then you want to click on slash and then you're going to enter to do and then you're going to do add to do to do so whatever their daily tasks are i can just insert those over here to do and make sure this is a task list to do to do and then you can just duplicate this entire you know section over here so if you want you can just copy your section like this and i'm just going to insert those over here like so and i'll just add one more section so just like that we have our to-do lists so once you have created, you know, four days a week, you're going to add the rest as well. So you can just do pretty much the same thing below these particular sections. You're going to click on slash and then you can enter three more columns. You can also insert an image to the side if you want. But what I'm going to do is I like to add some color to each individualized day. So if this is one day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and then you can go on ahead and click on text color and let's say we have a pink background for all of our text on monday then we can go on to the next section go for purple then go into the next section we can go into maybe a red background so just choose whichever one you prefer that's totally up to you just so people are easily able to distinguish between the different days so you can pretty much use you know uh, a similar color scheme just giving different little items now within these you will see that you have the option to add some segregations as well if you want 
However, this is probably going to be, you know, pretty much it's going to be the same thing. You can just copy this, then go down, and then just enter this, and then change the days. So this is going to be Friday, and then we would add Saturday, and then we would add Sunday. Now, in this way, you have, you know, the basic sections where people can write their tasks and so on. I'm just going to structure these to be you know the same size or you know aligned similarly to the top sections I'm moving these a little like so and then after that i want to start building maybe like a habit tracker on the right so what i'm going to do is we are just going to now if you add three columns it's going to be difficult to add a habit tracker on your side so if you have added three columns you're going to build your habit tracker down below so for this i can go into slash and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on table now in your table you're going to add the habits and then after your habits what we're going to do is the number of days people are meant to complete the habits they are going to add as many columns so habits and let's say we have um read book and then we have exercise whatever you know some basic habits are you can insert those and people can customize these but we're going to add monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and then saturday so after that within each one of these little columns over here you're going to add a checkbox so you're going to click on over here to insert a checkbox into these particular sections so what i'm going to do is we're going to color these as well so we can add you know a particular color for each individual day and then you can add you know the number of times they did it you can enter a to-do list or you know a basic you know marker of your particular section now as you guys can see a default checkbox is not inserted here so for adding for you to be able to add a customized text box you would have to build this structurally different so you would have to use a to-do list in your columns before so if you want to do it in that fashion you're going to go ahead and just create a column or table and this just add the habits and then in front of the habits what you're going to do is just expand this over here and then you're going to say i'm just going to decrease this and then in front of this i might want to i might want to delete some of these sections over here i'm just going to ask the ai to build a checkbox in the empty columns like this and i'm just going to replace selection and then you know you can build checkboxes like this as well now another very essential thing to integrate into these planners is a calendar so calendars can help people in building their basic information so you can add any database but i'm just going to add um, monthly plan and then you have a basic calendar where people can strategize and you know add their plans below that you can pretty much use the same formula so instead of a weekly planner you can build like a monthly goals or reading goals habit tracking goals all of that below and that can help you in just formulating your planner so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to make and sell these templates on notion you can easily sell these on gumball or etsy or any other platform and depending on how uh, detailed your templates are you can sell them for as much money and the simple templates even simple templates are going for around six to seven dollars so you do have quite a lot of potential with these templates now i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe